Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. Guess what we're doing today? The Maverick's getting tinted out. So we are here at Tent Lab, and we have a beautiful lady that's going to take us around and show us what they're going to do today. So um, we're actually going to do some ceramic film, which is going to be our top of the line heat reducing film. Um, we've got a couple different options. And we have the machine that's actually going to cut it. I'll show you what that looks like. He's on a YouTube video. Yeah. So he's here. He's going to cut it for us. All right, man. Print it out. Yeah. No, it ain't, no, ain't no printing out. Ain't no printing out. So no, hey, get a hand cut. It's not in here. So his truck's so new, it's not even in the system. You guys hear that? In case it's you so want to get your Maverick tinted. It's not even in here, so it's I like, gotta go back. It's all right. These are the professionals, though. Oh, that's why. Dude. Yeah. Tint that thing. You guys, when you get your Maverick tinted, just know that the Maverick is so new. There's not a you know a database for some of these vehicles yet. So. And we do a little bit of everything. So we got this Mercedes coming in. It's gonna get some new wheels and tires. All right, guys. Yeah. See, you don't have to just get tent here at Tent Lab. They do wheels, tires, all kinds of things. Yep, yep. Yeah. And you can keep on. I got a customer. Let me go and see what they're going to do. All right. All right, guys. So they're going to get busy on this, and we'll show you when they get done. All right, guys. We are done here at Tent Lab, and I must say, it does look gorgeous. Front to back, shaded out. And just as it's always the case when we go to work on something outside to do some modifications or work in the garage, there's somebody doing some type of construction somewhere on our street. So sorry for the generator and banging sounds in the background. But that's just the way it's going to be. A little better. So, what are we going to install? Uh, hopefully, you saw the other video that we posted up. Uh, we got the Mavericks windows tinted. A lot of you guys are asking for modifications to the interior, so I ordered some, and they came in a little box. And I was somewhat surprised because I looked at the. Um, product information and it lists these on the Ford Accessories um, site as black platinum door sill plates. Now in my mind I had something pictured that would cover pretty much the, the whole door sill and it would you know kind of look really neat. These are the black platinum sill plates. There's a Maverick one that goes in the front. It says Maverick and then the one in the back is just a little piece of, I guess this is stainless, but I'm going to turn it around and this is what you will get. Now I did use my rewards points for this. <laughs> I'm not terribly upset. Let's just say I'm a little bit I don't even want to say disappointed because if I didn't look at the description and, and see that it was this, then that's on me. So we're going to install these. So we'll have Maverick in black platinum inside our door sills. But know this, this item, these four items, front door sill and back, are $129. Now, is that worth it for you? <laughs> You use the rewards points, yeah, it's not a big deal, but would I pay $129 for this? And I would have to say unapologetically, no, I would not. Not saying that this is not a good <laughs> material, that it's not good quality. For me, I just would not pay that for these. So let's get these installed now. I don't even know if I need to do an installation video for this, so um, we're going to put them on, and if I feel like you need to see it, I'll leave it in the video. If not, I'll just show you the finished product. So hang on, guys. Let me 
me show you exactly what you're going to do with these seal plates because uh, it's not much to it. So we're going to look at it and I'm going to show you what we tell you what we did and then we're just going to install it. Let me turn the camera around. Okay, if you will notice, that is the seal plate. I have not stuck it down yet. Uh, what they tell you to do is clean off this surface here and then wipe it down with alcohol. And then what you're going to do, you're going to line up the sill plate with the feature that is inside of your vehicle. So you're going to basically line it up so that it's about the same. And you don't have to have a ruler or anything. Just so it's just about the same as it is lined up with that feature that's inside the door. And it has the um, adhesive backing. So what we're going to do, now that we know where it's going to be, we're going to peel that off and just stick it down. Just know this, when you peel that off, you've got to go ahead and stick it down because if you touch any part of the thing, it's going to stick and you're going to be pulling it off really hard. So let's get it installed. Okay guys, I'm sorry that it's loud out here. My neighbor is power washing and as usual, there's noise out here in my neighborhood. So for the Ford Accessories sill plates. What you're going to do, you're going to wipe this area down with some clean water, whatever. Then you're going to go back and clean it with alcohol. And what you're going to do is line up the edges with this front sill plate with this little indention feature in the interior. That gives you a reference point. So you put it there, there, Wipe it down, pull the backing off, stick it down. Make sure you stick it down right. Make sure you get it right side up because this is so easy. That is the only way you're going to mess it up is to do something really stupid. Now the back is a smaller plate and there it is. And then this one, you're going to line it up with this line that is in the interior. And it doesn't have to be perfect. There's nobody going to come and say, hey, that's about a half a quarter inch off. It doesn't matter. Put it down there, get it neat, get it, um, you know, straight, put it down. Both sides, same way. Took all of approximately six minutes to install. Is it worth the bang for the buck? I'm going to say a categorically no.